Welcome back. We got some gorgeous weather across North Dakota for this time, but things are looking uh, fairly decent overall. In fact, we've got the moon out at this time. This is the full beaver moon. So if you have any photos you'd like to share with us, send them to skyspyphotos.com. As a whole, November has been milder than normal as well as a bit on the drier side. Notice from my nod, we're about um, 2.4 degrees warmer on the average temperature for the month of November where it comes down to precipitation. Our departure, we're 49 hundredths of an inch drier than we should be when it comes down to liquid precipitation. And on top of that, we've only picked up a trace of snow, no measurable snow so far for the month of November. That is likely not going to change. In fact, we should, um, our normal for the month should be just under nine inches. So with this being said, the trace of snow makes this Minot second driest November on record. Williston, this is their driest on record, and that's the case across all of Western North Dakota. We've still got that mild Pacific air pushing in from the West. That is going to allow our temperatures to rise a little bit for tomorrow, so not nearly as chilly as it has been today. But for the moment, still a few flurries here or there, especially east of Highway 83, but don't expect any accumulation from that. As we've been mentioning, it is going to remain much warmer or milder than normal, not just for us in the Northern Plains, but throughout much of the nation with well above normal temperatures expected for North Dakota. Normal highs um, should be right near 30, but instead at a good 10 to 15 degrees on top of that for a couple of days. In fact, we're at 25 degrees right now. Teens are quickly making their way into the region. The wind remains light for the moment, but we're going to have a warm front pushing through and that wind is going to become more westerly. So for tomorrow morning, expect a breeze to gradually increase during the afternoon. Could have some uh, gusts around 30 to 35 during the afternoon and the evening. However, you are going to notice that we are going to gradually feel that wind decreasing after 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So things are going to be shaping up for the better after that. So the frontal system stalls for the moment, but it will gradually pick up speed and that will help warm us up. Give us that west wind for tomorrow and on top of that, Looking forward to a rather nice day. A few clouds to start, but the clouds will quickly make their way out of North Dakota, making way for more sunshine the second half of the day. But just keep in mind, it is going to be a bit on the blustery side. And if you're hoping for moisture, uh, not really expecting much of that across the region. Maybe a couple of chances of a few flurries later in the week. So morning lows are going to be in the teens. Then we gradually rise back up to the mid to upper 30s and lower 40s for your Tuesday afternoon. Another round of wind on Thursday, but as we get into the weekend, you're going to notice that we're going to be closer to 40 degrees with a light west wind for Saturday and Sunday. All right, thank you so much, Henry.